Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to another Curtis's Corner. If you are new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner. And on today's video, we've got another Boxy Charm unboxing. So, strap in those seatbelts, buckle up for probably a bumpy ride, and let's just open this box, see what's inside, and let's see if we can create a wonderful, fun, living for look this um, evening, day, whenever you're watching this. So, cue intro, and uh, let's get started. So, finally got it. Ooh, it's so red on the inside. I'm seeing lots of things already. All right. The theme of the month is called XOXO. So, we've got... This is only a base box. What's this? Glamier. <gasps> There's things moving in it. Okay, let's look. Glamier. Pink Luxe Glitter Eye Brush Collection. Glittery, enchanting, and fun, this set features four essential eye brushes. Ultra soft duo synthetic bristles make blending easy and flawless. This is what the packaging looks like. So it feel... $29.95 US. Um, I can tell you now the packaging for this is not worth $29.95. It feels like children's packaging. Like, it feels like a child's pencil case. The brushes are very soft. This one's very dense. Like, it's it's pretty firm. Um, what? What? What can I even do with that? Can you? What can I do with this? That's nothing. And it feels like it's going to hurt. The only fun thing is this. Oh, cool. It gets stuck because there's bubbles. That's wonderful. Stupid. It literally, the bubble stops it. So they don't even work at all. Yeah, no. So product doesn't work how it's supposed to work. The brushes themselves are very... Not flimsy enough for me. Um, this is useless to me, in my opinion. And the packaging is very child safe. I'm gonna re jig, there we go. It's very child like aesthetic. Not, in my opinion, worth $30. Sorry, but not. Saturday skin, ooh, what are you? Saturday Skin, the Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. Oh, thank God. I actually need a sleep mask. <gasps> yes, but... A lightweight mask that works while you sleep to deliver moisture while targeting the look of aging, dullness, pores, stress, and texture. This unique jelly texture mask is crafted with the Yuzu fruit, which contains three times more vitamin C than any other citrus. Ooh. Okay, this one, I'm not like a big skincare person. I'm trying to get into it. How does one open you? Packaging looks bomb. I love how it's kind of like see-through. Like it's that foggy thing and you can see like the inside of it. That's kind of cool. I'm going to take a little sniffy sniff. What are you? Comes with a little fruit dupe there. That's fun. Little lid moment to lift it up. Ugh. That looks frightening. Have you ever seen this? Look at this. Woof. Ooh, Ooh but it smells divine so i'm just gonna scoop whatever little is on there oh ho, cold apply after moisturizer leave on overnight and maybe used three to five times a week okay but there's things that kind of like float in it Ooh, it does feel really nice though okay very cold so i will try that tonight Wander Beauty Double Date Lip and Cheek. Oh. The Wander Beauty Double Date Lip and Cheek. Get ready to take your lips and cheeks on a double date. This lightweight duo pairs as a sheer tint with a universal balm that can be used alone or layered on lips and cheeks. 
The sheer tint blends effortlessly onto the skin, while the clear, shimmer-free balm provides comfortable hydration and glow. The Saturday skin, by the way, is $29. This is worth $22. I do think that this is worth the $29. This is $22, so we're going to take a, a gander at this. Okay. So it's a duo thing here like that. So, okay. So that's, I get that. Hi, little tiny mirror. So I'm assuming this is the lip balm. And then the blush is that right there it's nice it's nice let's take a oh it's a cream definitely a cream blush so like just rubbing it on a little bit tapping it out even it goes to that so okay workable workable maybe i'll put that on first uh this is very like glisteny for sure you know what let's put some on right now why not Mm. Lair. Okay, it's fine. Lip balm portion of it is okay. The top is called Rendezvous, the bottom is called Swipe. Well, it's clear, so we'll test out the blush. The Saint Lux Limited Edition Liner Duo. Ooh. This lip liner duo makes lip shaping easier than ever. With a creamy, long-lasting, and hydrating formula, the liner smoothly glides onto the lips and blends with little to no effort. Achieve a fuller look by overlining the lips just above the natural lip line to get a plump, kissable look. This retails for $40. Wow. Oh. Okay, this is a new launch. This is also a new launch, so we're going to be testing some brand new products today. That's fun. Nice neutral shades. The packaging looks nice. Very classy looking. The shade colors. This one's very much a brown, and this one is very much like a mahogany. That is mahogany. So we got like those. Okay, we got we to gotta test them. We got to test them. Oh! Oh, God. What had happened? I don't like that. Like what? What was that about? Oh, but they are Cream City. <gasps> wow. Okay. We're gonna see the other one now. Oh good, the other one is inside of there. So that's, that's wonderful. So one is definitely way more warm than the other. I mean, well, they're both warm. But like, hmm. This is in Love Letter. Which I don't know if I'll be using. So Secret Admirer is the darker one. We'll see. We'll see what happens when I actually pull them out and try them out. The last and final thing here is an Ace Beauty Nostalgia Palette. Now... The last two Ace Beauties that I've received, I did not love. So let's hope this one can change my mind. The Nostalgia Palette consists of 15 colors meant to inspire fun and creativity as well as make you feel nostalgic about some awesome past fun times. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. $38.99. We shall see. It is very aesthetically pleasing, I will say. This is giving me very much like Caribbean vibes. I've never been to the Caribbean, but every time I see it portrayed, it's giving me like these, this color story. I love the yellow. I will say that. Water slide. Why it's yellow, I don't know. That should be blue, personally, but whatever. Theme park, absolutely. It's very much like my favorite type of green. Maybe we'll do two different kind of eyes. Um, same shape. That way it's even with the shape wise. Hi, me. Um, but just two different color stories on the eye so I can get more of the palette into use. Sir, that is my full unboxing. 
stay tuned while I fix this up a little bit and I will be back to do a look. So keep on watching. Okay, back, base is on. Now I'm gonna go and dip into, well actually first, before I do that, the Saturday Skin Sleep Mask, I, I love it. It smells good, it feels good. I woke up and I felt nice. And you know what? I even use the Jeffree Star Setting Powder in the matte formula. And like my skin, like right here is a little dry patchy, but that's just my skin. Everywhere else looks so good. Like, I'm impressed. I am impressed. So Saturday skin, where did I put you? I approve of this. This is great stuff. I'm going to be using it again tonight. Now, I'm going to be dipping into the Wonder Beauty um, in the shade Rendezvous for the blunch. And we're just going to go in with our damp Buddha Bender. We're just going to tap a tap a tap a right in there. Pick up that pigment. And let's go. Now, I've only set like here and like under eyes and along the nose. So I haven't actually set my cheeks yet. So. Ooh. Ooh, this is nice. Like, actually, like, this is really... Like, it's, it's very pink. Don't get me wrong. It's very pink. But it's very nice. And I think once it gets in with the... Um, bronzer, I think it'll really blend and flow well. Like, better to what I actually want it to be. But it's nice. It's going on pigmented. It's going on really nicely. Um, I think I need a little bit more on this side. Not much more. But like... Yeah. Just like that. Like that looks... That's beautiful. Do you see that? <gasps> That's really nice. Oh, wonder. You never really seem to actually disappoint. The lip balm portion is kind of meh. This, though? Oh, this is nice. I like this. You just have to tap it off a little bit. But I always put a little bit up here, too, just to give it that warmth. And then we're just going to tap it on the nose here. And I can do this before I actually really set my face. So that's nice. Okay. Okay. We like her into my bronzer. I'm gonna just do all this quickly off camera and I will be right back to continue with the eyes and create a fun little Valentine's Day style look. I've decided on a Valentine's and not two colored eyes. But yeah, stay tuned. Okay, eyes are all primed. We're now gonna go into the awful, awful brushes. Test these crappy things out. Um, I've got four, so I've got to create a look using only four brushes today, which means only four colors. So, where did I put the... Found it. Okay, so we are dipping into the Ace Beauty uh, Nostalgia Palette. If you don't remember what it looks like, these are the colors here. Uh, I did swatch a couple, so I am definitely using Heat today because that one was just like... Oh my lanta need to use uh, i want to use a bit of i think popsicle which is going to be up here um i want to use a bit of i think pecknack which is this like hot pink red in the middle there uh flower to like flip it all out and we'll, we'll, we'll just play around we'll see okay so eyes are primed we're going to go in with this fluffy brush from glamier uh, into the shade Flower first. Okay. So Flower's gonna go right into the crease. Okay. This palette, this palette's pigmented. The last two did not really seem all that pigmented. But this one is coming up pretty good. I might, I, you know what? I may have gotten duds from the last palette because they didn't work well for me at all. But this seems like it's working so far. So we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna take my next shade 
That's going to be, no, not next shade. Well, next shade, but next brush. We're going to deepen up that crease. Maybe I won't go in with picnic. I'm going to go in with camping. That's this one right here. Uh, this is going to be used to deepen the crease as well as put on the outer corner of our lid. So just stamp it out, wing it out, and bring that in. Okay, this, I will say this brush feels nice. It's distributing the product nicely. The other brush, I hated it. Hated it. This one, this one's a nice brush. I still hate this because the bubble, like, stops the rest of the hearts from falling. So, it's a dud with that sense. But, I'm just gonna do a round. I'm li really liking the round look lately. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the round rounded eye look today. We're gonna dip into a bit of a mixture of hiking and raspberry and that's gonna be tucked right into the outer corner pocket just to kind of give a bit of dimension here. Just like right there. And just kind of swoop it into the crease part. Just whatever's remaining on your brush. Oh, yes. Yep. Perfect. Okay. I can work with that. <laughs> We're going to try this itty bitty tiny dinky brush here. Thank you for super friggin' focusing. I'm going to turn down the brightness a little bit. There we go. Now we can see me. Um, dinky brush. Lovely. Love that. So now we're going to go into the shade Heat. That's this one here. This is going to go all over. Ooh, it's squishy. Like it's, it's squish city. I don't think this is going to work with a brush we'll try it we'll try it but i think it's more of a oh no it's it's kind of working but i'm gonna need a lot of application with this brush so i'm gonna go with my finger because this brush is stupid hate you okay yeah it's very squishy it's like a glitter putty so we're gonna go in with my finger here I'm just going to coat the entire lid in this color right up to that brow bone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to go in with this angled brush because it's the only other brush that I have left. We're going to go into the shade. We'll go into Picnic. That's that bright, like, corally pink color in the middle that's going to go on the lower lash line and then we're going to kind of smoke it out with raspberry um and then we're going to probably put stargazing which is this orange shade on the inner corner Fun. All right, we've got this orange on now. After literally digging into the shade. Okay, so there we go. That looks fun. Um, I'm not really living for this look, though. Okay. Now, these brushes can die in a hole somewhere. 
last product. Okay, this palette is okay. Still not my favorite. Um, Saint Lux. You know, I'm gonna go in with the darker one. Is that this one? Yes. Uh, Secret Admirer. We're gonna line my lips in Secret Admirer. And we'll see what we do here. Hmm. sharp. Like it kind of hurts. <laughs> and we're overlining because I want to and you can't tell me what to do because you're not my real dad. Sorry, Christy. I had to steal that. I don't like this. It's hard and it hurts. These are not a win for me. I need some lipstick. We're going to mix it with Gemini. Ah, uh, it smells like root beer and I love That actually makes like a really nice color. Ooh, we love that. We're just gonna put on some body count for my gloves. Set it into place. Okay, that is my look all complete. I decided I just didn't wanna do lashes. I put a bit of mascara, no liner, nothing. Just super simple, quick for the rest of the eye. So, my verdict. The palette, it's okay. Uh, like I said, it's not my favorite brand. There's a lot better brands out there. Um, the Ferocious Beauty Cosmetics, for example, the Darkness Rising palette that I just reviewed on Monday, that is is a million times better than this brand's um, palettes. So I strongly recommend you go and get that. Anything from Ferocious Beauty. Um, I think my next pay I want to get, oh, I'm hoping that there's still going to be some in stock, but I want to get some of her liquid lipsticks because the packaging looks so nice. So I need to go and get some of that. But Saturday Skin approved. Love. Love her. Love that journey for me. Love that everything about it was nice. The St. Lux lip liners, they suck. They hurt. They're ouch. I don't like them. One, two, three. The, the blush. The blush is a win for me. The balm is a nay for me. So 50-50 for the Wonder Beauty product. Trash. We hate those. We're not even going to talk about them. They're awful. Okay, they're awful. Anyways, if you enjoyed this look and you want to try and recreate it, I would love to see your recreations of this and probably better with like good brushes. Please tag me um, on Twitter, on Instagram. That's about it. On my second Instagram, which is just Curtis Corner Beauty. Um... But yes, I would love to see your recreations of this look. I think many of you could probably do way better than me, personally. I mean, then again, I was working with trash. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I put new videos out every single week. And hit the notification bell so that way you know when I post a brand new video. But until then, I will see you on the next one. Bye, friendships. Thank you.